Hey, this is Nathan Lynch with Team Semper Fi. We're going to cover the maintenance of your bicycle today. Along with that, we're going to also cover some products that you can use, fluids, tools, so on and so forth, to accomplish that mission. We are not affiliated, partners, or endorse any of these products directly. These are things that I use, my personal preference. Please remember that you are the first line of defense for this equipment's longevity. So the less you do now, the more you will pay later. So please, maintain your equipment. It will help with safety, prolonging your use of the equipment, and ensuring that you enjoy your ride. I'm Nathan Lynch with Team Separate 5. Today we're going to unpack this hand cycle that's been shipped back from an event, and we're going to talk about the things that we could have done better and some of the lessons learned coming off this. We're going to talk about what we can do better in the future and some different packing solutions that we've come up with since this was packed last year and shipped back about six months ago. Again, we're constantly improving our process, making it a little bit easier, something a little bit more um, user-friendly. So bear with me. We're just going to go ahead and pull this out. I did pre-open this. So I knew which side was up, so that it's a little bit easier to handle when I get out. Again, if you tape your two boxes together, um, a lot of times what will happen is if you don't run tape the whole length, this will happen. You'll get this gap here. You still have another two to three feet of, of cardboard, so it's not going to slide apart. But the problem is it's going to go ahead and expand and contract. Um, things can get lost out of here if it's not taped correctly so that's why we do a full length tape from one end to the other afterwards to kind of keep this in place because depending on how hot it is in the truck how cold it is in the plane however it's getting to your location or from your location it is going to change how adhesive this tape is so some things to take into consideration all right so I've got a couple clamps to keep this open and make it a little bit easier so I'm not fighting the cardboard itself and as you can see, the box is starting to cant a bit. Where the, what the problem is with that is the bike has shifted inside the box is now laying sideways instead of flush. So, what we're going to do is reach in and grab what we need. First thing available is a front wheel. Actually, this looks like a rear wheel. So in the past, we've wrapped them like this. Works pretty well. You know, tape on both edges, tape them together, protects. Since uh, I showed you how to do the cardboard, that's a lot easier. Um, you don't waste as much bubble wrap. It doesn't shift around on you or, or the tape come undone. So in the future, we'll probably be using that method. But in the past, what we've done is just taken that, that wide, that wide um, bubble wrap, wrapped it around the sides, and uh, taped it on each end. I'm not a big fan of tape. Um, I, if we had a cellophane wrap this, on top of that, it would have been fine. So always a good way to do it. I kind of like the cardboard a little bit better. It's going to hold up in the long run, and it's not going to shift on you because it's zip tied around the whole frame. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, if you look through the videos be links below, it will be marked on how to make yourself a cardboard cutout to protect your your braking surface on your rim, your spokes, and your hub. It okay, looks like we've got another wheel here. Oh, it looks like the whole bike wants to come out. So I'm going to go ahead. I've got some clearance here. Don't see any damage. So it looks like we also, what we did here was use a combination of the Pelican case tape and the bubble wrap taped together to protect right in here in the middle, protect the derailleur. Looks like the chain came off, the handles moved on us. So 
lot of these things that we learned from this first portion of this came into play on the last video that I did when we packed the hand cycle a little bit better. Now, as you can see, the box wasn't really that damaged, so you could reuse it, put some more tape on it. If you're going to go with duct tape, go with Gorilla tape. It's probably one of the best, but make sure you adhere it down. You can heat it up with a heat gun. Um, that also helps it to stick a bit. But on the other side of that is it's a lot of duct tape. You add a lot of weight to it. Um, if you get a really nasty gouge in it, how much are you paying for that box with that expensive roll of tape and so on. So sometimes it's just better to swap out the box and pack the bike better. Um, that will help on the wear and tear of the bike. On this particular model of the Force G, we have really wide handles. So that's why this was in there sideways. Okay. So, we have the other rear tire. And then we have the front tire. Same thing, bubble wrapped, taped. The tape came off in storage. Um, I'm going to have to double check to make sure that that rotor didn't get bent. I'm going to carefully set that down. And then we're just going to go ahead and pull this out. As you can see, the box is in actually pretty decent shape. It could be used again. Again, the good thing about putting these handles here on the sides that don't move is even if you get your hand through there, there's nothing on the back side. But be careful if you're trying to lift it. Don't use this as a lift point. You'll actually tear it. You could tear it into the opening and then cause it to pop open and chipping. But again, not a, not a huge uh, inconvenience. This is definitely reusable. Um, if I was going to reuse this box again, what I would do is I just tape down anything that's been tore up, such as that, and then I would get um, that really heavy duty orange wrap and then wrap the box with it. So, if we wanted to reuse this box again, we just cover up any holes that have broken it open on there. Looks like we got a little bit more wearing tape here as well. Tape all those up. And then I would take this, tape one end down, and then wrap it. This stuff will really prolong the life of uh, your box. So if I was going to reuse this box and I'd tape up all the holes just like I just did, then I would tape a side down on this and then wrap it. But I would only do that once the bike is inside so it has some rigidity, otherwise it's going to want to fall over on you. Plus, you're going to have to cut this off when you get to destination, at least on the end, so you can pull it out. Never try and cut this, pull it out inside. You're just going to sit there and fight with physics in your bike. Um, just split the end open, slide it out like I did, and then if you have to, um, wrap it. One problem is if you throw this roll in there with your bike, it's going to weigh down the box. It's going to add an extra 12 pounds, which it could cost you. So. Inside the Ziploc bag, we have all our spare pieces, it looks like. So you have your front quick release, your draft bar pieces, and your axle bolts. One, there is one shortfall. There's no draft bar in here. Not at all, zero. So that means one of two things. When I wrapped it, I stuck it in one of my other boxes and shipped it back with me. Or, this bike never had a draft bar. So, I'm guessing because we used it for an event and it was required for a flag and a draft bar, I'm guessing that I put it in one of my other containers. So, before I repack this bike, I definitely need to make sure, one, there was no flag in it and no draft bar. So, that could have been an oversight when I packed it. or I set them aside while I was packing other bikes and uh, somebody got an extra flag in a draft bar. So we have all our parts. The draft bar uh, is sitting over there on a box and the flag is sitting over there on a box as well. So just make sure that you have all your parts when you take it apart and then we start double checking to make sure everything functions. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually put the bike back together, function check everything, do a quick tune-up, adjust the cables, adjust any brake issues that we have, 
uh, check the wheels, check the tires. We're also going to check the truing on the brake rotor. So, let's get to it. Through the years of experience working with adaptive sports and working on bikes, I can tell you, the best thing to do is maintain your equipment and learn about it. The worst thing to do is to try to fix something and not know what you're doing. So please, talk to your local bike shops, talk to your mechanics, and talk to your fellow riders, and they will help you out. Have a great day, and we'll see you back here on the web.